one carat diamond in the center. Two carats on the outside. Is anybody in there? Hold on, man, hold on, I got you, bro, hold on, man. Calm down, I got you. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a Hardcore Pawn video full of disrespectful customers on Hardcore Pawn. Number one, this is less. These two guys walk in wanting to pawn some jewelry. They seem really tight and decent. Let's check how much they will make with that because there's a mixtape waiting. How much did you want? Like about 20, 25 bucks. This money so I can get this it's silver. Okay, so like it's a problem with silver? Yeah, it's not worth as much as gold. Okay, so what, what is it worth? A five hour loan. Go to buy yourself a large pizza. Listen, oh, listen, he listen. just clowned you, dude. I was not let him get in. You know, I offered the guy a fair price. The two guys were just dogging with each other, just trying to make a scene. These two guys are seriously just clowning around and acting all smart, yeah? Well, nope. I just know if they keep acting the way they are, there will be some consequences. You understand? What, what did I'm you saying? call that? That's the ghetto brightling. No, that ain't the, the ghetto brightling is a brightling. Fifteen dollars. Take it or leave it. Hell no, nah, man. man. There's the door, guys. See man, you later. See you later, alligator. Lays just knew how to handle these two bozos for sure. I mean, call the owner of this whole freaking place a mother trucker. Oh no, you're in some deep shit for sure. In America, jewelry and loan, man. Okay, don't come in my store with us because at the end, we'll escort your ass out of here. Taking me five dollars, son. How y'all ladies doing? Can I walk with y'all? We out of here, man. FYLB. These guys are really out of their goddamn mind. Two hundred dollars worth of jewelry? I really doubt it. I really do. Thank God they are out. I couldn't handle hearing them anymore. Number two, tantrum throw. A man walks in wanting to sell his watch for $400. Will he be able to get this amount or not? I'm really not sure. So let us go and find out. Come on, tell me the truth. What'd you really think? Tell me the truth, man. Yeah, Come on, give me, four, give me four for this watch, man. Come on, man. Come on, give me like four fifties for this Why watch. Why are you yelling at me? I got a baby on the way, dog. Congratulations. I'm sick living, I'm sick living at the f***ing crib, man. Come on, give me four hundred for this it ain't gonna hurt. My man really needs to understand one thing. Why would you be given a certain amount that is not really how much the watch is worth? 400? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, this is a bull ass place, man. This whole ass place, dog. It's on that tip, dog, man. Y'all, man. It's a bull. Uh, excuse me. Hey, bitch, pick it up. Call what? Hey, what Nice one, Les. Put this dumbass in his rightful place, and that would be the trash. I mean, he literally knocks down a lamp, and for what? Nothing. Touch me, dude. I'm out this bitch, man. F y'all, man, for real. Maybe I should have given him 400 for the watch. Then maybe he would have been able to pay me for the lamp that he broke. Y'all, I'm out this bitch, dog. Ugh. Lucky was a used lamp. Literally nothing. Right on less. But you know his broke ass won't be paying you shit right now. So it was very wise on your part to get him out of the store and stop wasting everyone's time. Number three, phone call. This woman walks straight to the window thinking she pawned her microphone, but she doesn't have her ticket. But not only that, we have another big problem. Check this out. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. When you sold us the merchandise, you got to take it. No, I so lost where is it. it. You lost it? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want me to do? She sold us some merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. I mean, how could she be that stupid to not actually know that she sold it and not pawned it? I mean, I know I'm always shocked with people, but this woman is as stupid as it gets. Okay, so I just make a phone call. A little My phone brother call? be up here to handle y'all mother Ooh, Come with me, no, please, ma'am, come with me. Nobody threatens me without a response. This is okay. my chair, so you, need, you, to really you, you need to get up. You need to I'm get up, you need to get up. I'm not getting up. Get up! This woman will be taught one hell of a lesson. I mean, she seriously is threatening them now. She got on a phone call that thinks would be of some help, but this phone call will be the end of her. You gotta go I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. That's where my car at. Damn. Bitch, move. I'm probably mad too, you know what I'm saying? I let you way in her head now. Ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> So I'm not the only one who noticed these eyelashes, right? This shit is really heavy on her eyes and even mine to even look at. At least she left and is done with all that bullshit. Number four, flip split. This dude walks in acting all goofy, like the boss baby he is. Wait, this might be his stripper name, but watch him. Put on a show never seen before on Hardcore Pawn. At least there was some I earned that hat got me when I was younger. I have a question. I just saw you walk up doing this thing. Can you do that again? What? This? Try it. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. Uh, you're a what? what? I vogue, whatever like that, and I'm about to go to international. What is vulgar? This hand performance. Oh! 
He's very flimsy. Dude Voguing needs a lot, a lot of strength. I actually applaud him for this talent, but looks like Bobby J is weirded out, and Ashley is appreciating the guy. It is real. It's a real earring, but it's not a real stone. Okay, y'all gonna have to go back there and give my Gucci Gucci five. No, it doesn't work that way. I'm trying to sell these earrings so you can. I need you to do a little let more. Let me go to international. You got a manager or something, girl? Me. That I could. Oh, you the manager? Yes. Oh, work sickening. You sickening down, girl. Work out. First of all. Asking for $500 is way too much. I mean, I'm guessing he added the small little show fee. Second of all, disrespect Ashley like that? Oh, hell nah. Here. Give it to me in my hand, girl. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. 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 Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Stop me. I'm not paying you for your talent. I'm paying you for your earring. Go get out. I look better than you anyway. Okay. I look better than you anyway. Now these moves are very impressive for sure. I would pay him $500 to do all that privately. I mean like privately meaning in a real show. Anyways, good thing he's out. Number 5. Dirty Couch. A man walks in to check out some new stuff for his home. Turns out he just moved here with his wife. He sees a couch from afar. Let's check out if they make a deal. You gonna clean all that up before I buy it? That's why it's so inexpensive, right? Really? I gotta tell you, man. It's nasty. Why okay, is it so, so freaking dirty, man? Because it's used. That's why it's $397.77. Really? Well, I only got 200 bucks. So how about you simply don't buy it? You seriously think with your ass or you're just here to cause a scene for some odd freaking reason? Are you that bored back home? This is not the way we operate in New Jersey. What kind of operation you guys going on, man? I bet you you're the mother who's been sitting on here farting. This was actually my couch. We had a reupholster and I gave it to Ashley. Is that right? Yeah. Is that your daughter? That's my daughter. She must be nasty too. Now, what the actual hell is wrong with this asshole? You're not coming in the store, disrespecting the owner and especially his daughter. You sure are not a man. I don't know how the hell y'all do it in New Jersey, but Detroit, coming to man's house, disrespecting him. You don't jump on the furniture. You don't insult his daughter. You don't insult his seven foot, 400 pound bodyguard. Where'd he go? I think he went back to New Jersey, sir. Byron spoke the truth and nothing but the whole truth. This man really needed to be kicked out of the way he was. The humilitation was on point. Number six, disrespectful guy. This guy walks in asking for help to buy some stuff, but he turns the store into a roast battle without anyone condemning this. Check this out. Hey, man, this just mother Hey, somebody gonna help me out with this? What kind of table is this over here? Come on, Ashley, man. That's my girl. Yeah, I want Ashley, man. That's my bitch. That's who I've been screaming for. Come here. Get off the bed. Get kicked in the face. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He literally just called in Ashley to freaking do the deed with him? The audacity on this guy. I just know he'll regret this. He let me, I'll be slapping that ass. He ain't gonna I do can't get over how Look, you... I ain't even looking at this motherfucker. Don't fuck me. You the fuck you're talking to, motherfucker. Take my ass out of here, man. Respect my daughter and my jaw. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I know you are. Get your hands off me, man. Time to get Ass, man. I'll tear that up, boy. Les did the right freaking thing because as a father, no one should even have the audacity to disrespect his kids, especially in front of him. This dumbass is out. Oh, my daughter. Yeah, yeah, you you understand that? Oh, you understand that? You understand that? Don't with my sorry. kid. I'm sorry, man. Don't with my kid. I'm sorry, Les. I'm sorry, man. Get this off the property. What's going on out there? Do not go out there. I'd strangle that mother and you would too. You're gonna kick his ass, all right. This man really is getting on everyone's nerves at this point. He should come back here because he did not learn shit from this whole problem he just caused. Number seven, liquor bottle. A lady enters with assurance, acting as though she can sell her bottle of alcohol. The liquor bottle is empty though. Will that even work at all? Woman comes in to sell me a high-end bottle of liquor. Problem was the liquor was gone. Man, I can't use it. I'm terribly yeah, sorry. Yeah, but don't belittle nobody and don't belittle what they have. I wasn't Because belittle. it's not valuable. Man, that's so what they're So you want to take a person down when they're in need? That's what you're saying? Dollars. They're 1200 Well, that's more than 100 dollars with the liquor inside the bottle, it was worth 800 Look, honey, we all know you're struggling. However, when Les is acting with such respect, there's no need to treat him disrespectfully. Just demonstrate some comprehension, nothing more. But anytime you're gonna belittle a person, Damn, I didn't belittle say, you. I'll give you a hundred dollars. It's not worth more than a hundred bucks. They're eight hundred dollars filled with liquor. When you get sick, the money ain't gonna feed you or heal you. You treat people like we must put an immediate halt to this lady. Please simply send someone to Earth from above to completely stop her. A miracle is required. Don't you ever walk up to my baby, dad hey baby, don't point and your fingers belittle in my face. him and talk about baby, his store still, and talk about friend. his health and talk about his life after this. Turn your ass around with your alcohol breath and walk your fat ass 
out the door now. Never mind, all is well. We received one of Satan's greatest devils in fact. She confronted her directly as she was aware that she was demeaning Leslie in addition to con artists. Regards, Ashley. Number 8. Angry Wife. This woman approaches the window immediately and asks to get her wedding band returned. Unfortunately though, her husband pawned it on his own. I was doing my husband's laundry this morning and I pulled his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. So I put a bag in his wallet. So your husband stole your wedding ring? Yes, he took it because we're having financial problems. I get why he did it. I just want to come in, pay for it, and get my ring back. Yes, I feel terrible for her, but I can't help her without her ticket. I understand Ashley's recommendation, but really, Ash, nobody rational enough, in my opinion, would actually let the police take their spouse away for a fixable issue. Okay, so and let look me up the name, okay, tell me how so much I owe you, and give me my <laughs> So let me explain to you how this works. First of all, I don't just look up somebody's name and give you their information. I didn't ask you to give me the information. I asked you to look it up. I also How hard is that? You look it up in the computer, you take it, I pay for it, we leave. It's not that hard. Let me talk. Give me my ring. There's just not much understanding in this woman, unlike Ashley, who is making every effort to maintain her composure so that she may assist you in the most effective manner possible. Walk your pretty little legs no, out of here. You are not. Just go back I'm there and give me my How hard is it? You can't just go back there and type in a name. It's time to go. I'm yours. I want to see you oh, walk outside. Come on. You're so big and bad. Yelling, screaming. Can't type anything to a computer. Oh, I'm going to come back and get my what was the point of you raging that way the hell? I mean, she seriously just went all up in Ashley's face screaming at her when she was providing her with the best service ever. Number 9. Human Hair In all honesty, that wasn't the real issue at all, but this one is very sure she can sell some hair in the fur area. This lady is the issue, not her. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese bohemian. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. bohemian. Uh -huh. Bohemian. And I Chinese paid a thousand dollars for it. I wanted eight hundred, but um, the lowest I will go is three hundred. Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. You it's have the kind we have Beyonce wear. Arizona? I'm pretty sure that I've been this close to this freaking wig before. I mean, where in the name of Satan did this woman acquire this ridiculous notion? Stupid, indeed. It's for you too, I could brush it too, and you could call me. You know, it's a lot of things you can do with it. It's good hair. It's it's very beautiful. Do I see me put it on for you again? Sure. Yeah, see how I'm on? I'm watch it change. Bam! Hold the first name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. Ope, that gaze said it all. She was clearly offended. After all, Leslie called her smelly and filthy in a variety of ways, and he would have none of it anymore. Don't wipe down everything. Dude, but I just can't take it. Okay, you, you can right? wipe down the hair. Come it's back. Come, come back when I you can't have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? I need you. Is it a salon? Is it a salon in here? Yeah, it's a blow. He's gonna. He's gonna show it to you right there. He's gonna show it to you. Come on. You can twerk it all the way out. How daring of Leslie to believe she is a drag queen. She proves that she is a true woman, my guy, by twerking as though it validates her assertion. I'm glad she went to the parking lot of the salon. Number 10. Gender Bender. It appears that there is an issue with the ticket agents. On her ticket is the name of a dude, written by a woman. Is anything broken, or was she inventing things? Ticket. I am dude's a dude's ticket. A dude's ticket. I am a woman. So you need to do your job and get my right. What is the item that you have in pawn, ma'am? Rolex. It's on that ticket. A Whose name is Anna? Somebody by the name of Daryl. Who? Daryl. Who the f is Daryl? How do I know? She has a pawn ticket with someone else's name on. Maybe there was a computer glitch. I don't know. Iman says only one thing. Whatever actually transpired with this ticket, this woman is not deserving of any assistance. I want some, the right ticket. That's what, what I are you about. yelling about? We're because gonna take I, care I, of you. I, I can hear you. Okay, I'm standing in front of you. You're gonna get the f out of my girl. Get your finger out of my face. Are you anyway talking to me? I own this bitch! Indeed, less. No one will go into your place and act the way they are acting, so show them who's boss. Here, you take it out of here. No, I'm not going to go. When you come back, I'll get your hands up, my girl. Nobody's hands up off my girl. Come in calmly. We'll be more than happy to fix the problem. Come in like a ranting, raving lunatic. We'll show you the front door. Look, you should not help them at all. I warned you. What the devil is wrong with these two bastards, really? Good God. Number 11. Truck driver. This guy is looking to purchase an engagement ring. It appears that he is ready to settle down and wed the woman of his life. That is very pleasant. Let's investigate it. One carat diamond in the center. Two carats on the outside. Is anybody in there? 
Oh, hold on, man. Hold on. I got you, bro. Hold on, man. Calm down. I got you. That's probably the man inside. Now, let's consider his justification. He's going to claim that he was rushing and that everyone should wait because he's almost finished. Stupid. Move your ass. He's got your parking lot all messed up out there. He's parked right in the front door. He's blocking everybody. Well, I couldn't find parking. You will find your place. Would you like us to find your place to park? I got to go. Be a nice gentleman and please gladly move your car. Or we can't do this real quick? You don't have an option. You have to move your truck. I'll be more than happy to show you a parking place right near the front, but you have to move your truck. No, I'm not moving the damn truck. I'd be twice as stupid if I said that, because Leslie had a very big plan for you before you spoke that bit of garbage. Look at this, man, look. Look, bro. Man, hold on, okay, man, okay, okay, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Truck. Move the truck! Move it, man! Move the truck! This guy's been out here all this time. No, you filthy old bumbler. Not one of them. Not you. Fuck you. In reality, all he was doing was waiting for his trash to end quickly. Well, no. Number 12. Caddy Teen's two teenagers blew up bought the shop and Leslie's face. They are requesting a reimbursement for a computer that didn't seem to function. It was simply turned off due to a dead battery. But whatever. I came here the other day to purchase this laptop. You turned the laptop on for us, uh -huh. and it came on, but then uh, it, it just, just shut off. Went off. So, so I'm gonna need you to go back there and get the refund. I'm sorry. We yeah. sold it. Gave you the adapter for it. No, you no, didn't. didn't. Show me the receipt. We don't, we don't have, have the receipt. The fact that these two moron individuals lack their receipts doesn't even surprise me. Who among them has ever received his ticket with him at this point in the store's history? You just saw us the other day. You remember us. I do. You don't have the adapter that I gave you. You never gave us an adapter. Go home. Why can't you help us? I don't want to go home. So I sold it. Walk back there and get us Thank another you. computer because I'm not about to take this home. Lord, please. Now I'm really upset with all that nonsense. They came in shouting and didn't even get the adapter or the receipt. There are those who are truly high. Not Bring that. the receipt. It was never an adapter. It was never an adapter. There you Period. go. It was there never you adapter. go. I gave you the receipt oh, and an you adapter. Stuff. You're stuck. No, 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 please. Let's go. How much can I listen to this? Please, let's go. Have a good day. Great teamwork. Byron and Les. It was too easy for the computer to pass. However, we eventually caught these two rowdy kids outside the shop. 